So <laughs> yes. let's have someone check out the seeds so Somebody we can show you how it works. Yeah. Um, so you can tell. Okay, come on. Come on up. Yeah, come on up. You're not shy. So yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Roma tomato. Oh, okay. Good luck. Bam. Roma tomatoes. Oh, he has his own envelope. Right. Yep. Yes. He has his own envelope. Yes. Says Roma tomatoes. Yep. And you'll be able to check out up to three seed packets a month with your library card. So once you, ha we have how to check out seeds up here. So if you forget. So what we'll have you do, you can check out more later, but we'll just do this one for now to do a demo, okay? So we'll come being a demo, that's fine. Okay, come on, let's go over here. Right. Okay, so I'm a demo now. Yeah, so we're demonstrating how to do this. And it's as easy as owning a library card. You check books out, now check out Seeds to Grow in Huntington Beach. The way that the process works is that uh, patrons can go to the seed library, they can choose three different variety seeds or three of the same kind, they could take three packets. As long as their account is in good standing with Huntington Beach, they'll just walk over to the reference desk and check out their seeds and then they can do it again next month. Seeds just don't grow on trees, or maybe they do, with the help of a non-profit partnership as in garden pool. So what we're talking about really is another level of sustainability and how the library can get involved in doing two things, fostering sustainability, and I wish you can comment on this, fostering sustainability and connecting people with books because there's a lot of new people that, and you hope this happens too, mm -hmm. that comes into the library, right? And, and say, I don't know what I'm doing, but here are these seeds. Well, here, check out a book. The library is a perfect place to foster community. That's the intention of a library. So it brings folks in to learn about uh, sustainability with the gardens, and it also gives them books and resources so that they can learn and grow. Yes, growing. The library is now connecting literacy with a fast rising trend. I'm excited because I've read about seed libraries um, through Seed Savers Exchange and other groups over the years and online, and I was always hoping that we would have one out in this area. Um, I've been growing seeds even when we had an apartment out on the back patio for many, many years and trying to save open pollinated heirloom varieties. Um, I've learned a lot from Abundant Life Seed Foundation, Seed Savers Exchange, um, Seeds of Change, Native Seed Search, and a lot of other groups over the years. Well, anything to augment my garden is fine. <laughs> to be honest. Um, and I've had trouble growing certain things, so I thought maybe these seeds would be a better idea than what I get at either Armstrong or Home Depot. Learning early about sustainability, along with the importance of literacy, brings a strong benefit for a life of discovery, which is true for Laura's children. I hope that they'll be interested in growing um, their own food someday too, you know, to learn seed to final harvest. We've been planting for a number of years. They each have their own little bed in the backyard um, and a square foot garden as well. And so we've tried different techniques to help them learn, especially as seed saving and growing from seed is becoming a lost art. And as we more and more people are in the cities or trying to buy in the grocery stores, you know, it helps them to connect with the earth and to see the process and to be patient because it's not something that happens just overnight. You are officially the first check out of our seed library. Oh, <laughs> I love it. From the library, inside the library, I'm Matt Liffring for Surf City Highlights.